run that left a mother and her two boys laying in a ditch and a father feeling helpless. How much has their world changed in 34 days? We hear from the night team's Chelsea Jones about the scars they still bear and the hurt that is healing. Chelsea? Gordon Natasha, Nikki Stevens, and her kids were practically left for dead. But only a month and a half after the hit and run, they're out of the hospital, and they're telling me life is truly looking up. Life flashing before her eyes. I just knew that I was dead right there. You know, I just thought I was. And God, God touched my hand and told me, it's not your turn. I got you. You're going to be okay. Nikki Stevens and her two boys were walking home from church along Cypress Street. When in a blink of an eye, police say Sharon Sanders hit them with her truck and didn't look back. When, it, when I woke up or whatever, like, what did I do to deserve this woman to do this? Steven says the incident was so traumatizing that she and her kids will never walk Cyprus ever again. I'm scared to go to the street. I don't want to go to the street, but one thing that I never will do is walk my kids down the road with me again. I can never do that. Stevens is still healing from fractures in her spine, staples in her head, and a cut on her kidney. Her youngest boy, JJ, had a fractured hand, and her oldest son, Lee, has a broken leg. A little over a month later, JJ is out of his cast, and Stevens' kidney injury has healed. But she and her oldest still aren't in the clear. But my right side, it's, ba it's not really no good. Like, it's when I walk, it goes like like crooked. Stevens is due back in Shreveport to check on the status of her spine and her son Lee still has a cast on for a couple more weeks. But for Carlos Williams, you can tell by the smile on his face, he's just happy his family is alive. I just hope that I'll never just go through that again. Everything is doing good, you know. I, I hope I hope it just stay like this now. Sharon Sanders was arrested and charged with careless operation, negligent injuring, and a hit and run. Her case is now in the hands of the DA's office. Live in the studio, Chelsea Jones, NBC 10, your local news leader.